The subject of this video is the Teams mobile app. You can download it from the App Store. Once you open the app, the first thing you'll see is the activities. Activities are notifications of things you've subscribed to in your various teams, um, workflows that you're being asked to approve, and other reminders. The next item along the bottom of the screen is the, uh, is the chat. You can uh, ping someone using it, uh, a chat, so you can say, hey, let's go for a coffee, or um, contact them regarding some other conversation. So here's the calendar. Um, calendar, you can view your items, you can edit them, and then here's the teams and the channels. You can maximize and expand. You can go into one of the channel conversations. You can add a discussion. So the, the functionality is very much like the desktop. It's just squished into a, um, into a smaller uh, a screen. And you can change your status in the upper left area. Click on your icon. You can change it from away to busy, vice versa. There's other settings in there as well. That's another video of mine. You can look up the settings. Uh, search my channel. And if you want to um, join a meeting, you click on the channel. You click on the camera. You initiate the conversation. You can add participants. You can um, have a conversation with them. You can, uh, if you look at the bottom left, you can put the camera on. You can uh, mute. You can use a different speaker. Um, so the functionality is pretty straightforward. Uh, work with it, and I'm sure you'll enjoy using it. I found it to be very effective. I use a headset with it just to control the, uh, the audio and the listening for a better experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.